Hello guys, Medieval Fan Wolf 7 back again today with part 1 of Medieval 1 No Chalice Let's Play. Now, I've already done part 1 of Medieval 2, as you already know, and I've actually already done part 2 of Medieval 2. And it's on YouTube, but I'm keeping it private until I've uploaded this one first. Because like I said, I was going to do it like Medieval 2, Medieval 1, Medieval 2, Medieval 1, when I upload each part. So here's the start of my No Chalice Let's Play of Medieval 1. I've actually been playing Medieval 1 quite a bit today, I've been um... As because it's a uni uni new year now, I've been rather out of sorts and I woke up about like, well, prepare yourself for this, half eight at night. That's the time I woke up. And then I pretty much spent all night with my sister playing Life is Strange. And every time I was waiting for a new episode to install, I would play Medieval 1 with her. And then when that was installed, I'd play Life is Strange. And go back on to play Medieval 1 with her while that was installing. But uh, pretty much what we did is, I think I've mentioned this already, and come to think of it, I, I was kind of trying to convince her to do like, a Let's Live move that she might do sometime. But the thing is, we quite often like, I play off the emulator and she plays off the PS1 itself uh, and we try to race each other at the level so you can get it done first but I always have to play the German version of the game because I only have one uh, PAL disc so I can't play off the CD-ROM emulator meaning I can't get past the Hilltop Mausoleum in English so you can get past the Hilltop Mausoleum in German, the German disc and it's another PAL version so it means he'll run at same speed so therefore if I'm racing him it'll be a genuine win if I win instead of because of me running faster, so it's hard to explain but I thought I maybe could record us both playing at some time I could record her footage and my footage and we'll just do like a let's race at medieval or something like that but the quality of my one might look better because it's on the emulator and the quality of her one might look a bit more pixely because she's been off the PS1 but we'll, we'll see what happens when I was playing earlier on I was being her at pretty much every level so <laughs> uh, also I didn't realise that this is a franchise that's already been started. Cause I know what well, I come think. I know there was like uh, two people I was talking to. I can't remember the name of one of the people, but um, something Hurricane I think started. Um, I think you know your name, <laughs> obviously, because I think you watch my videos. But it's something Hurricane, a Sky Hurricane or something like that. Yeah, he's already started. Um, well, I think he's already done actually. Uh, Medieval One, No Child's Let's Plays, and um, yeah, I, I was planning on doing it too. And I think it's the. Uh, It'd be nice to see just uh, how well I could do in comparison to you. I, I probably will suck compared to how you did because I've pretty much never completed this game at all without a chalice before so I have no experience of completing without a chalice. Medieval 2 is going alright so far without collecting any chalices. In the second part I did, I played uh, the Greenwich level, uh, Kew Gardens, Dankestay and Iron Slugger. And Iron Slugger is pretty much not different at all if you don't get a chalice because you don't need any weapons for that level anyhow. Well apart from when you're collecting limbs between rounds but I only had to do one extra round. I did round one, and then literally just a bit of round two, and that was me done. <laughs> so, uh, I actually, I don't know what settings I had for Epic XC, but I was testing out settings uh, that I really liked. Because remember, I did a little wee tester video of um, shader testings from my No Child's Let's Play, and it looked really smooth, but I can't, I, I changed them a little since then, and now I can't find what the settings were before, but I think these look rather decent, but the writing's back to looking a little tad pixely rather than smooth, but I think that's just me being a bit a perfectionist, so I need to stop being like that. So, <laughs> so like I said, as this is a No Child's Let's Play, I'm not going to go too much into depth about the actual game itself, and just focus on actually just a... Uh, getting through levels without collecting chances, but I'm still going to provide myself a bit of a challenge of actually trying to defeat enemies in that, but just not get the chalice along the way, because then I won't really feel the actual challenge uh, from not getting the chances if I'm not killing any enemies, because, um... But if I feel like I'm really starting to lose health, I'm just going to try and, like, get through the level without dying, so... So I probably won't feel much of an impact after I've played, until after I've played the Hilltop Mausoleum, because I can defeat, uh, the Stained Glass Demon, with the throwing daggers, which comes to think that I was going to get in Dan's Crypt uh, because I never usually get them because I think they suck so much and because they don't really add towards my level completion or anything like that because you don't need a chance to get them or you don't really need them in your inventory so I never bother collecting them through absolutely shit so I think I've had but I forgot to collect them in Dan's Crypt just now even though I actually had every intention of getting them because I'll probably need them for the no chance let's play as I've got no other projectile weapon so um but yeah I can return to Dan's Crypt after done uh, Cemetery Hill because I can go back to get a life ball uh, once I've got the club in Summary Hill. And wow, that was a lot of shield I took off there. So... What was I going to say there? I can't think straight right now. Yeah, I'm actually really enjoying uh, doing these No Child's Let's Plays for you right now. I'm actually... Uh, I think I might record part 3 of Medieval 2 straight after I've done this. And just keep make that public when part 2 of this is done. Doom, doom, doom. <laughs> oh wait, no. Actually, I'll just get money and... Yeah, oh, yeah, I'll need the money, so I'll just kill these zombies to get in the way. Why not? <laughs> or, yeah, I just will. 
sorry, I'm just, <laughs> I just love calling everything so it feels all clear and that, but, uh, yeah, I'm very obsessed about it. Oh, yeah, and I was going to say, since the Hilltop Mausoleum is only, like, the third level in the game, and it's the only level on the PAL version of the English disc, uh, the... Like, I think it's got copyright protection on it or something that makes the game not actually load the level in the emulator. So I'm having to play it off the disc, and because I only have three USB slots, I need one for my mic, two for my uh, USB uh, CD-ROM player, because I don't have one on my laptop. So I've got no room to plug in my uh, game controller, so I have to use my con uh, keyboard to actually play the game. So I'll just do that for this part. So I'll play up to about, maybe, Return to the Graveyard, to see how long this takes me. And for the future parts, I'll just play off of the ISO file and uh, using my controller. I think I explained this in my Let's Play, actually, in my actual Let's Play. Which I think I might also redo next year at some point. I'll see. I'm definitely going to redo my Medieval 2 one, because I feel like that could be improved a bit. In terms of actually how I played the game and my style of comedy, because I felt like my comedy kind of sucked when I was doing it last year, because... I don't know, my comedy still kind of suck now, to be honest, but I'm trying to improve myself a lot. I felt like I didn't really go much depth about what I liked about the game, I played at the time. I, I didn't explain things very well. I tend to repeat myself a lot, which I do a lot of time due to my anxieties and all that. So, um, yeah, I think we'll just see. We'll just skim through this level. Won't bother killing any enemies unless they get away. Just wave our sword about. <laughs> so, like I said earlier, when I was racing at the levels, uh, we pretty much used the cheats just to like open all levels. We didn't actually, uh, what we did, we actually enabled all weapons as well. But we turned off invulnerability because that would be like full on cheating. But pretty much we just uh, did the cheat to open all levels so we could just choose, choose which level we could race at. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, what we're going to do here is. Oh, shit. <laughs> You see, I actually did get the chalice there, but I completely forgot. Sorry. So what I'll do is actually, since I actually got the chalice, I think I will just not get it. I'll, not, I'll just not redeem my weapon, because that will count as not getting the chalice. So, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so I actually got the chalice, but sorry, I completely forgot that I wasn't meant to get it at all. But yeah, hopefully that still counts. <laughs> because that won't affect it at all, because I've not got a new weapon by this point anyhow. So, I'll just try and remember not to pick up the chalice at all in this part. <laughs> <laughs> um, nah, what's we'll the game? So yeah, we'll go on to Sentry Hell now. And like I said, as this is no child set, so I'm not going to bother talking to gargoyles and go through the whole story of it and everything like that, because I'm merely playing it for the purpose of not collecting chalices, so I'm just going to survive through all levels without any new weapons. So I think in this game, I'll pretty much only have a sword, throwing daggers. I'm actually I also get the crossbow, because when I actually get to the Ants Caves levels, level, I actually get through that level with free access to the whole hero, so that's technically so me not getting a chance because death, I get free access to the whole heroes. I don't collect the I don't collect the chance to go there. So I'll have a crossbow has risen from the grave. and you I'll also have this <laughs> the dragon armor. So that should s still serve useful for last level, but I think the Zark army will be fine. I can just keep like topping them up with health, uh, just as usual, just with a good lightning, and just kill Zarak with the dragon armor. But then again, when it comes to Lord Cardock, I just wonder how I'm going to do against him with only a crossbow and a sword. So yeah, here we, go we are going through... Sentry Hill is normal, because I never use the crossbow in a sibling house, so I won't feel much of a difference in this level. So I really ought to use my shield more often. <laughs> it just feels weird playing on the keyboard, because I'm not used to it. So, like I said earlier on, I was considering doing some videos now and then of Medieval, of me racing certain levels with my sister. But I might have to record with Melgato and uh, Evo 60, so I'm not sure how much that would slow down my computer and how much clashing sounds that would make my video. Like a combination of the sound of her gameplay and the sound of my gameplay, I'm not sure how much that would an sound annoying to you, but uh, I'll see. I'll do test recordings just to level out the sounds and that, so it doesn't sound too annoying. And what did I do that for? Um, oh yeah, I'll buy some throwing daggers. And you can't think of it, I wouldn't have needed to, but uh, damage is done. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. So what was I going to say then? Again, no. So yeah, so if you comment down below if you'd like to see that, it'd be quite interesting. I'd raise my sister. We'll probably do it with commentary as well. I think she'd like to do that with commentary with me. So you'll probably get to hear her. Uh, she's been in two of my videos so far, so uh, very briefly. She's very quiet, so... <laughs> um, and as you may know, yeah, she is actually currently a boy still, but wants to be a girl, and uh, is trying to live life with a girl before actually going through the changes and all that, so I'm trying to get to referring to her as my sister. But, uh... 
so, oh, oh yeah, and also another medieval uh, type of franchise, and well not franchise, just a video that I was going to do is, so, you know how I've mentioned a, a couple of times now that there's differences in the Japanese version of the game? Yeah, I'm thinking of uploading a video of actually me going through uh, the Japanese version of the game, because I'm pretty sure, uh, well, well not pretty sure, so I have noticed quite a few differences in the English and the US version of the game, so I might actually just uh, do a comparison video of all the differences. Uh, the medieval, the Japanese version has to the English version, both American and uh, PAL, because pretty much the only difference that medieval one has uh, in PS uh, PAL to the NTSC American version is just that the monks in the asylum grounds wear white robes and uh, striped uh, yellow and red aprons, whereas in the PAL version they wear yellow robes and that's it. But in the uh, Japanese version of the game, they wear just the same clothing that they wear in the US version. And I'm wasting my club right now. I should make good use of this if I'm not going to get a hammer. Yeah, because I'll need the hammer for. Well, I mean, I'll need the club for breaking down the wall and down the script. Another thing I took into consideration when doing my No Chalice Let's Play of this is that an upside of Medieval 2 to collecting No Chalices is that I don't actually uh, get my life bottles from collecting Chalices in Medieval 2. I could just find them throughout all the games. So I'll still be able to get all the Chalices. Not Chalices, uh, life bottles in Medieval 2. Uh, whereas in Medieval 1 I won't, because I think three of the chat three of the oh, I'm oh sorry, I should not be playing this at like 8 in the morning <laughs> when I'm not even by the bed. But um yeah, three of the life bottles we get in this game are actually redeemed from uh, collecting three chalices. So I'll pretty much only get six out of nine life bottles in this game, so that'll be quite challenging. Whereas I'll be able to get all eleven in Medieval 2. Yeah, there's actually more life bottles in Medieval 2 than there is in Medieval 1. You can't actually fill the full life bar unless you've got a cheat uh, of life bottles in this. It only fills up to like almost the end, but it doesn't fill the whole life bar with life balls in this game. Whereas in Medieval 2, you get 11 life balls instead of 9, which actually covers the whole life bar, which I kind of like, because it makes the whole life bar full, and it looks rather neat. So, <laughs> yeah, that's us gotten through Summer Hill, and I collected the chalice again, what the hell? But again, we are not going to redeem our weapon. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I've asked the second time I collected it. We give our lives. Do -do, do -do, do -do. I'm going to try and not get used to collecting in future levels. I'm not going to penalise myself for actually collecting the chalice because as long as I don't actually redeem the weapon for collecting it, that's all that matters. So <laughs> dun, 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 I'm sorry, I didn't expect to appear in the Hall of Heroes at all during this part. I'm sorry if this has been a total fail to you, but I don't think it's really worth replaying the whole game when I can always just exit level like this. So, <laughs> there we go. I didn't redeem my weapon, so all is forgiven yet again. I can't believe I made the same mistake twice. I'm just too used to playing it a certain way. I don't know why I've not made this mistake with Medieval 2. <laughs> so here we are, moving on to the Hilltop Muslim. Now, I don't think I'll get any problems at Why is it lagging all of a sudden? I don't think I'll have any problems with saving... Uh, just well, any problems with loading just now, but I'll save just in case there is problems. What's up with the lag right now? Okay, that seems fine right now. I don't know why it lagged just there. Right, okay. I have, like, I have sub-channel enabled, but just in case I don't... I'll just record again and Yes, it loaded fine, that's good. So that's the reason why I'm using my CD-ROM drive right now, because I need to enable sub-channel read for this level to work. Dun, 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 dun. I think this is my sister's favourite level in the game, and it's only the third one in. She does have some music of it, and just sings it very creepy and all that. But I think my favourite level in the game is actually the Sound Grounds, Chad Earth, and Saving Village. Yeah, I, lo I love all those ones equally. <laughs> I love the Sound Grounds because it's quite an awesome level with awesome music, whereas the Chad Earth is also just another level with awesome music, so... <laughs> another awesome level with awesome music, sorry. So yeah, I'm not going to get a club. I'm going to make good use of the club I've already got. And I forgot to backtrack to Dan's Crypt, but we've got plenty of time in the world to do that. So I'll just do it after that one said. I'm wondering if I should retitle this No New Weapons Long Play because Let's Play. Because I've actually not I have got the chances but I've just not redeemed the weapons for collecting them. Don't kill me first. I'm starting to wonder, I was actually just thinking the other day. I'm doing I'm doing um Redo's of Medieval with like, you know, chances, like 1 and 2, but I'm wondering, can I do no chance let's play of Medieval Resurrection? Would some people be interested in seeing that? Probably a lot harder in Medieval Resurrection, because that game is generally a lot harder than the original, so I wonder how we do that with no chances. <laughs> I wonder, because I don't need a chalice to get the Warden's brand, so I wonder if I could cheat and get the Warden's brand, and that would count as me in getting no chances. <laughs> Lord, oh. 
So technically, all of my level 2 I've got left to do is Waffram Hall. That shouldn't be do too bad, apart from the Renfield that I've got to defeat. I'll just have to defeat him with a small sword. But come think of it, I might not even have to defeat him at all if I'm not getting the chance. Uh, the green men, yeah, they'll be alright with just a small sword. And I actually won't even need weapons to defeat the half the enemies, because the vampires in level are defeated with sunlight, so I won't need the weapons to defeat them. And the count is also defeated with no weapons, so that's fine. White Chapel should be fine, because it's just zombies that are in that level, so if there's any of the game away, I could just hack away them. Uh, I think it'll be quite easy to. Oh, the sewers might be a bit challenging defeating that, uh, that monster thing. I think it comes out of those tubes that you have to kill to feed the woman. That might provide a bit of a challenge. I wonder what I could defeat him with. Could I defeat him with the pistol or anything? Not what, nope, maybe in the sewers I could defeat him with the drop. Eh, not drumsticks. The crossbow. I'll see. So there is the chaos rune. So we just backtrack through the level since we're not actually getting the chalice. Actually, no, we can't go there yet. So, <laughs> what can we? Oh yeah, we can. Because we only need to give the thing to him for the chalice, so, oh, oh yeah, and some money, but yeah, I think we'll just avoid money, because that'll help me forget the chalice, uh, it's more likely to help me forget the chalice. Dun, dun, dun. Come think this level's not that long, actually, if I'm not planning on getting the chalice. <laughs> That's just destroying the heart and defeating the Sinkas demon now. Like, again, I'm sorry, I'm just humming to the music because the music copyrighted and I don't want to get a copyright claim. <laughs> Luckily, I can always just like redo my foreign long plays of. Because, like I said, I was going to do foreign long plays of Medieval 1 and 2, and I could just do them right now with Epoch XC 1.9.25 because there's no music glitches for Medieval 1 in the emulator, but there is in Medieval 2. So I can do my long plays of those with the music turned down low and not have any sound glitches whenever I exit a room or talk to someone, like in Medieval 2. I really hope Epoch XC actually updates soon for Medieval 2, so, and actually fixes the glitches with the music going, still playing while paused, and also automatically going loud again whenever you enter a new room and changing soundtrack as well. So yeah, we have no chance to collect in ourselves, so we'll just get straight to defeating the Stained Glass Demon. <laughs> Sorry if this company's been a bit lame. As I am merely playing this just like this let's play. Just like I said, for the purpose of not playing a child. So I I'm not wanting to go in depth about anything anyhow, so. <laughs> just as well. I'd probably make sure I was more wide awake to do a proper let's play this. <laughs> I am also thinking about redoing this at some point because I was replaying it at night with my sister and I was actually quite into playing it. I was doing so well and pulling off such amazing stunts and I almost forgot how good I actually was at the game. So I was quite sad to see how little justice I gave the game when I did my let's play this because I had so many fails in it. And I was like, oh, I could have done so much better than that. I'm not usually this crappy at the game when, like, apart from when I'm doing Let's Plays. So I thought, what I might do is just, like, just try them again and see if I can play the game any better. Because I don't feel like I just, just did the justice it deserved and that. It's hard to explain what I mean. But it's, it's just horrible when I know I could have done better. And come off it. It keeps hitting him rather than the heart. Come on. Okay, I have to jump at the same time as throwing the daggers. Okay, this is quite annoying. <laughs> I'm definitely feeling the difference now. Come on. Oh, come off it. Actually, aim at everything. For God's sake. That's, even, that's not even hitting him at all. Come off it. Oh, sorry about that. Didn't mean to be so dumb. God, his, half his life bar's not even gone yet. He'd be dead right now if I was killing him with the. He'd be dead right now if I was killing him with the crossbow. And I think he's all known me by now with all my tongue tiedness. I nev I'm never actually like this normally. Just when I'm recording. It's nerves that do it to me. <laughs> I can't even do doing dash right now to get away from him. See, I'm never usually around in this long to lose this much health, so... I'm not used to being around this stained glass demon this long. I probably was when I was younger, because I used to find all the bosses really hard when I was young. But then as I got older, I didn't realise how easy the game actually is. The game still provided a bit of a challenge here and there. Like, if you've never played before, it's more of a challenge in terms of knowing what to do, but once you actually know what to do, the game's not really that challenging. <laughs> Particularly Medieval 2. Medieval 2 is actually just challenging all in all, even when you know what you're doing, because the levels just are just hard. <laughs> Medieval 2 is also just more wide open. It's a bit more of a puzzle figuring out what you have to do. I think I'm getting there. There's only a tiny bit more to go. I am a bit worried about Cathedral Spires in Medieval 2. I'm probably going to complete suck that level with only a sword. 
Oh, and also the game lagged there because the soundtrack finished and it was reloading again. Because as I'm playing off the disc, it does lag a bit more. Come on. There we go. I can just one more hit and I think he's done. So that'll be the same costume we've defeated with the Shade Thorn Daggers. This is why I never get them. They're such crap weapons. And just because I don't have to get them because it doesn't count towards my game completion, I just never bother getting them. I've actually never bothered getting the Thorn Daggers. Like, years now. I don't think I've ever had the Thorn Daggers in my inventory. <laughs> and actually, for what I actually remembered not to get the Chalice in this level. I think it still counted towards me getting the Chalice when I collected them, but I think the main purpose of it is just to see how I could do the game without any good weapons. So that's fine. I might put a disclaimer in the video saying I did collect houses, but don't worry, I never redeemed a weapon for collecting them. <laughs> so there we go, that was the held up Muslim without any chalices. So yeah, we don't go to all your sisters. You see, like, it says two because I collected two chalices, but they're worthless because I never got anything for collecting them. But yeah, we'll save the game, even though I don't think we're going to finish quite yet. We'll try to return to Graveyard. Oh, no! We will do Dance Crypt first. God, the game saves so quickly in this anyway. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Okay, there we go. So we'll re yes, we'll replay Dance Crypt. And I think... Yeah, we still have a percentage of the club left, don't we? Yeah, we do. We've got 9%. Will that be enough to knock down the wall? Hopefully it will be. Yes, it is. <gasps> Just! <laughs> There's only 1% of the club left. So, since I have no hammer, I'll just have to make sh bleh, make do with only have oh whoops <laughs> I'll have to make do with only having a sword in the next level. No, I think I find another club along the way. But I don't think there is a club in the next level, is there? I don't think there's a collectible one at all in the next level. So I will pretty much just have to defeat the wolves with the sword. Or oh or the own daggers can think of it, but the sword might be easier to be honest. Oh and also earlier on when I was like racing at the return to graveyard with my sister, the dogs are so easy to defeat with the, with the magic sword. They pretty much just jump down. Whack whack dead. <laughs> That's us. Got the third life bottom of the game. It's three out of six, technically, since I'm getting no new items. I mean, it's also getting less treasure comes out of it. So there we go. We will play Return to Graveyard now. I wonder if we'll also squeeze Scarecrow Fields in this part. Why not? <laughs> See, I just thought what would provide the feel of playing the levels normally. But just without any new weapons. So I guess that is kind of a good thing I'm doing with collecting chalices. I'm imitating playing a level normally, but not being rewarded for it. <laughs> I always feel the first four levels are so quick. Like, I always feel like when I'm just starting the adventure, I'm like, wow, I'm already well into the game already. I've already completed like the first four levels because they're just so fast to complete, but it feels even faster. Like, like not playing the game properly, just skimming through the level quickly. Even though I didn't really rush through the first two levels, I still play them normally but never redeem my weapon. I remembered not to get the chalice in the previous level. And you can probably tell I'm tired and anxious right now because I'm repeating myself an awful lot. So <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, I'm only gonna, actually, come think of it. I'm not gonna defeat those enemies if I don't have to. I might defeat ones that I can, just like, if they're in my way. So, yeah, just they blast them out of the way, but as I'm not getting chalice, I am not gonna try and defeat every enemy. Yeah, just go away. <laughs> Oh, I won't be able to squash his hands from money either if I've got no hammer. Well, I'll probably be able to squash one hand if I get it dead on, because I only have one percentage of the club left. Die, 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 die. I think I might quickly record Medieval 2 actually after I've done this. I'll see how I feel. <laughs> it's very early in the morning and I've not been to bed yet. I know, I'm such an all-nighter. <laughs> oh, oh, now you decide to come down. Okay. Not that it matters. <laughs> Also, I was reading up about any chance, any signs of a new medieval game uh, being open to Sony, and I think uh, apparently it doesn't look very, uh, it doesn't look very good. Like what's going to happen? Because it doesn't look like they're planning on making another medieval uh, one or two, because it's not been high demand for it or something, or Sony's not been asking, or I don't know actually know why. But I think it's because the game's not been given much of a green light or something like that. I think they said something like that. But, um, I don't know. Some people have to make this game more popular. Like, make more of a demand for it. People. Like, make people know that this is a very 
big game that everybody loves and just sort of tell Jason Wilson and Chris Sorrell, we love this game so much, please bring it back. And I think it's because there's been a lot of demand for it that they've not bothered to make another one. But I would love to see another medieval uh, game go into progress. Just so long. I have to say, if it's too modernised and too complicated like other games with all their DLCs and all that, I probably won't like that so much because it'll probably just lose the feel of the original feel of the PlayStation. Whereas I'd like it if they brought back uh, Medieval, like maybe with like enhanced graphics and all that, like a new game. And it has to take place after Medieval 2 because I notice everyone who talks about Medieval, they say, oh, any chance of a th like a, a third Medieval game? As if to say there wasn't a third one already. The third one was a remake of the first one. So remember, there was a sequel to the first game. So. <laughs> Uh, also, I've noticed in PlayStation All Stars, the story of Sir Danny Fortescue didn't carry on from the second game. It carried on from after his events in Galamere, so it's, it's almost like they're just dismissing the idea of the second game, like it never existed. Because, but see, the thing is, actually, the second game was actually more nostalgic to me. The first game was the first ever game I got, and because I found it was much more of an adventure to me because it was much more complicated to figure out. And I was left for years wondering what would be future levels, what was behind certain doors, and all that. So it's quite a shame that there's less awareness brought to Medieval 2. But, um,. Yeah, I'd like the events to carry on after Medieval 2, but everyone seems to be thinking that it would carry on after Medieval 1, which is weird. Not unless there was like a midquel, that would be quite a good idea. Like what happened between Medieval 1 and 2. But I don't know. <laughs> like was there another knight brought back from the dead, or Sir Danny Forsky has to be Sir Danny Forsky. But then that would probably like be a complication to the plot, because apparently he was falling asleep for like 500 years before eventually coming back, or 5,000, I actually can't remember. I think, I think it was 500 or 5,000. I actually, I think it was 1300s and 1800s. So yeah, no, yeah, it was it was 500 years. Never mind. So, um, so I'm just babbling now. But I would like another medieval game if it just kept the uh, the original feel of it, like the objective, like going navigating through certain levels, collecting chalices, having a certain fall in the I don't know. Maybe change the story slightly, make the plot a bit more in depth than that. But I like the objective being like dispatching enemies to collect the chalice and all that. Go through beautiful levels. But like I said, with enhanced graphics, like make the game look a bit more modernized, not too modernized, makes sense. But I am thankful for what we did get of Medieval. I love the game so much, but it's just, I'd love a bit more to be added on to the adventure just so I can navigate through a whole new Medieval adventure. As much as I love the originals. But, um, I don't know, I'm probably just being needy and greedy. <laughs> Wait, I'm not going to bother defeating you if you're going to run away from me because I don't need to. Get away. <laughs> oh, okay, so how am I going to do against these wolf bosses? I'm not even got 100% of the chalice yet, anyhow. But we're not going to bother getting it. So. Doing okay for health, considering. Prepare to battle on the guardians of the graveyard. Oh. Right, how's this going to go? <laughs> oh, not too bad. If I just be careful, this might not be all that difficult, to be honest. I've already taken off like a fifth of the health. Oh my god, this actually might go not too bad. But <laughs> Have I got my silver shield yet? I hope I have actually got a shield to use. Oh, I've got a bit of a copper shield, I suppose. Can we guess that? Ah, oh, damn it. No, no. There we go. Oh. oh god, they're already halfway dead. <laughs> There's a looking promising. Oh gosh, I know Charles says play of medieval resurrection. I'll be hopeless at that. Come to think of it, because the wolves are much more difficult in medieval resurrection. You know what? Comment down below if you'd like me to try that out, but I can't see myself doing very well. It'll have a ton of editing, I think, because I'll get lots of game overs in Medieval Resurrection, because I literally just get by in Medieval Resurrection as it is, so... All has changed outside the necropolis. That'll be a huge step for me if I actually succeed at Medieval Resurrection without a chalice. Nasty, painful death waits around every turn and over every hill. Bon voyage. She has made. So, okay, that's us done. Return to the graveyard. Now, like you said, there paths go this way and paths go that way. So, next, we can either do Ant's Caves or we could do Scrape of Fields. I kind of think, I wonder if Ant's Caves would be a good level to get the one first. Then again, it might not be because I'll only have thrown daggers to kill Dan's Queen with. Ah, no, we'll skip it for now because I don't want to do it. <laughs> I'll save it as long as possible. Oh, there we go, the game's lagging a little bit again, but hopefully it won't be once I... Yeah, I'll just do Scarlet Fields now so that you won't have to witness all this like CD-ROM lag in future. <laughs> 
Also, the animation says cutscene slightly different Japanese version. I'm just remembering all the differences, so I'll have to make a little comparison video for the Japanese video Ver version. Sorry. I'm just trying to develop ideas for new medieval content for this channel. I'll have to find a way to hack the rolling demo so that I can actually play through it myself. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'll start with Sacred Fields now. No. Here we go. Let's get through this little hellhole. Oh, and actually, come think of it, we will be able to get a club, so we'll be able to burn down these haystacks. Oh, they're not too bad with this small sword. I am going to try and avoid the scarecrows as often as possible, though, because <laughs> they're too hard as it is. They're so annoying. Whereas it's the opposite in Maple Resurrection. The scarecrows are really easy in Resurrection, and it's, well, what the farmers are replaced with that are really hard. Those haystack enemies, they're really difficult in Resurrection. Die! Go and die, go and die, go and go and die. <laughs> so, let's see, we'll just go def Oh boy. I just realised we'll have to defeat him with only his own daggers. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I wonder if I'll have to use my arm eventually. I don't want to have to adjust myself to that, but I might have to at times. Okay, this is not looking too bad. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Whoops, it is. Right, so that's the metallic imp, not too difficult with the thrown daggers. So, yeah, we could go in here now. Oh, we know I didn't pick up the Minrun. <laughs> that's right here. So, yeah, we'll get the club now and we'll oh, get out of the way, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna bother calling you. Unless he gets in my way again. So yeah, we can open the chest and get the club. And we won't need to worry about the percentage going down from burning it, because the percentage doesn't go down in this game, but in Resurrection it does. And, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, in Medieval Resurrection you actually lose health while using the dragon armour. Yeah, well actually, well, actually, I might be lying through my teeth right now, but I'm pretty sure when I played Medieval Resurrection your health gradually goes down when you wear the dragon armour. I'm not sure why, but it actually does. So... That's quite concerning, to be honest. That may be another comparison I could show you. Uh, I wonder if there's any other dimension. Oh, yeah, and you can also replenish your uh, lightning. You know how Medieval 1 and 2 in this? Once you're out of lightning, that's you out of it. There are only limited amount of them. But in uh, the Japanese version, you can actually top up your lightning when you're on it. You can go to the spiv and top up your lightning, so that's quite interesting. <laughs> so, yeah, burn down, 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 burn down. <laughs> Yeah, it always takes me forever to get through a start part level because there's so much to do in this one area alone. <laughs> I'm wondering if I should use this sparingly or just make use of it while I've got it. <laughs> I might use it sparingly because I might just use it for burning down these stacks right now. But um, it could come in useful as a replacement for the hammer. And uh, yeah, I did return to Dance Crypt. Yeah, I remember knocking down the wall. I'm pretty sure it did knock down the wall, but if any of you remember me forgetting it, let me know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did return to the script. I'm very forgetful right now. Come on. There we go. I managed to kill one scarecrow. I gave myself a bit of a challenge. Okay, I'll kill two scarecrows. Why not? YOLO. Okay, oh, and then we'll switch back to your daggers. Come on. Ah, oh, dear. I just realised that it's going to be harder to do- Oh, never mind. <laughs> But even with his own daggers, he doesn't really hit me that much with his flame. <laughs> yeah, I do prefer Medieval 1 to Medieval Resurrection, I'm sorry. It's not just because it's a classic, that's what I grew up with. I just think Medieval 1's better. I just like the look of... Just looking at this right now, I'm just much preferring this version of Scarecrow Fields to the remake. Because I think those little metallic imps look better and all that. And just the levels in general, I just love the gothic feel of it. It's just... A lot of yeah, the levels feel so empty in Resurrection, there's less things to collect in them and to explore. And also, it just sort of feels rushed. But at the same time, it's very good, I got it's very good considering they were up against a time limit to actually make the game, so... Dun dun, dun 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 And I do, I believe me, it is still a very good game, Resurrection, it's definitely worth buying. Whoa! <laughs> God, they, they take a lot of hits with the sword. I wonder how many hits I'll have to take to actually kill them. There we go. Now, I am actually going to get the Harvester piece, or should I? Is it actually worth it? Yeah, because there's a life ball across there. Then again, I could do the cheat that I do to get across without the Harvester piece. 
Might as well work, or will I be made to look like a total full of when I'm actually recording? Yes, I'm made to look a total full of. Okay, there we go. I'll make a couple of attempts at this, just for timekeeping. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. But if I'm running too low in health, I'll just do it normally because game. <laughs> right, come on, Steven. And come on, camera angle, stop it. Do, do. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. You actually can. You'll have seen me do it before already in my Let's Plays, so this is actually possible. The game's just been a bitch to me right now. <laughs> do, 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 do. Dun dun, come on, camera angle. Right, that's it, I'm not gonna risk it now. I'll just get a harvester piece like a menu. Go that oh yeah, I'll just I'll open that up. Whoa! That was close. I'm gonna be careful I don't go in the haze go inside the corn crops. Dun 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 mm -hmm. Trying to just avoid getting hurt all here. Oh wait, there's a life file here. Dun 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 mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I think I actually can't remember your name. Something hurricane, Sky Hurricane. Yeah. I'm trying to m i am trying to I did I actually have still to watch your ones properly. I just noticed you actually did uh, no child sets because I've not actually watched them properly yet, sorry. But I will hopefully get around to it because I'm actually quite curious to see how you managed to do yours without a child because I've well, I think I've probably have made a couple of attempts at this without a child before in my time, but never fully play it. And there we go, I, I actually succeeded at that time, so I was quite glad I gave that another try. So there we go, got a life bottle and a life file, so we topped up our health a wee bit. And there we go, the chalice is still a ghost, so we don't need to collect that right now, even though we can't, so jump, there we go. We'll top up our health right now since we managed to jump across the hay. And there's no need for the harvester piece. Du, du, du. So I'm sorry I made three failed attempts there. Whenever I'm recording everything just loves to go wrong and make me look like an idiot. So <laughs> du, 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 du. Tell me if any of these other gamers have that problem. You get so embarrassed when you know things usually go right when you do it. And then you just like worry that when you record it's going to go wrong and people are going to come down below saying Oh, that always goes well for me. You suck at this game and it really annoys me if people are ever like that. I'm like, oh, you have no idea how annoying it is to see that comment right now because I, that doesn't usually happen to me. It's, I'm just always unlucky when it comes to recording. <laughs> so yeah, there'll be no need for Harvest a Piece right now, so let's we can just run to the end of the level. But I'm just going to burn down this haystack so I can get money. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I am kind of tempted to play one more level, but at the same time, I don't... I don't... I don't know. Yeah, I think I will because the lag's not been that bad playing off the CD ROM. So yeah, and I'm actually getting quite used to playing on the keyboard right now. I'm getting quite a feel for it. <laughs> and I think, Soldo Sagans, I know you're quite into my medieval videos, so I think you'll appreciate quite a long part. <laughs> I don't know, is that how you pronounce your name, Soldo Sagans, is it? Whoa, get out of the way then. No, I'm not going to risk that. I'm just going to run to the end of level now. I think I will do Sleeping Village next. See how that goes. And I could just kill the villagers if they're annoying me because I won't need to collect the tiles anyhow. So. I wonder how many parts I'll get this game done in then. Probably three. So I think Medieval 2 might be done in like four parts. I'll see. That rings. There we go. That's a tiny bit lag there because you may have noticed the music just ended. Dun, dun, dun. It's kind of hard to like think of stuff to say if I'm not actually talking about the game itself because I was actually hoping to maybe redo a Let's Play at some point. Please forgive me. I was actually because I know some people are getting sick of me uploading up all the time saying like, what was wrong with your first Let's Play? And I'm just like, I'm sorry. Maybe there was nothing wrong with it. I just love replaying it. Just for replaying it, really. And there is always room for improvement in my videos. I mean, come off it. I'm the most least professional gamers out there, so... <laughs> I'm so shy all the time. I have shitty comment rays. And... I don't know. I'm just a shy person. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, like, if you even see my blind Let's Plays of other games, I mean, I'm very shitty at picking up plots and all that. I always have to look up other Let's Plays afterwards to understand it better and look up the actual scripts and all that. Because I get so... Like worried that much about doing my commentaries as it is, I can't focus on the game for being too nervous. So that kind of interferes with my concentration on games. But more to the point, 
Uh, we'll just continue sleeping village right now. Yes, we'll do sleeping village. And then we'll let, definitely end it there, okay? Because I'll have to get in my bed, come think of it. Yeah, we'll skip that. Ooh, googly eyes. <laughs> I love this level's music, for those of you who have not played the game before. Pooh! <laughs> oh, I didn't skip in time. It usually says the same pooh! That part there, we skip in time. So, uh... Uh, we won't. Will we need to come in here yet? Nah, we've got full health. So, first we will just quickly run past everyone and go straight down to this little slip switch here and get the chaos rune. I'm glad I don't have to worry about the game's volume too much with this emulator, particularly with Medieval 1, because I can just adjust the game's volume to be low enough. In, in comparison with the game's sound effects, that's it. <laughs> Trying to take the right term. So yeah, we can get the crucifix cast right now. Dun, dun. Yeah, we can knock that down by doing dashing into it. We don't need the hammer. So I kind of like that, how we could doing dash into things that we could always use the hammer on. So that would make a good replacement for hammer. And I just feel like I can use the doing dash weapons. That might come in useful at times. Maybe not that useful, but it might serve useful somehow. <laughs> So, oh, we've got the uh, moon rune. I was going to say chaos rune for a second. So, yep, we can go down here now and use the chaos rune here. Oh, oh, hang on. There's money in these barrels, so I can use the club. Oh, there's the money. Oh, wait, and I can use this barrel for pushing onto the switch. And oh my god, just listen to this music. The nostalgia from this soundtrack. Oh, I can't believe it. I freaking love this soundtrack. <laughs> This soundtrack always reminds me when I used to play Medieval in my kitchen. <laughs> I actually used to be scared of this soundtrack. I was scared of quite a lot of Medieval soundtracks when I was younger. I mean, can you blame me? The soundtracks are pretty creepy sounding for those who were playing it at like four years of age. <laughs> I, was like, I don't think I played Medieval 1 until I was like five or six because we never got it to quite a while after we got Medieval 2. Because Medieval 2 was the first ever game I got. So, luckily I do have a club here because I don't have a hammer to break this down. So yeah, we can get the earth rune. Dun, dun. I can't believe this is still part one, come think of it. This game's been so quick. Dun, dun, dun. Either way. Yeah, I don't, I'm not worrying about killing the souls. <laughs> I'm not getting the jazz in here. So yeah, I mean, that's why I'm just waving my hammer, not caring about dodging them. Dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. so back up to full health again. I'm getting paranoid. I have got no chalices, right? Yeah, good. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Lander's bust. So pretty much we could just make the crucifix and leave. <laughs> pretty much. Because we've got no chance to backtrack and get. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we'll need the Shadow Demon Claw. I was almost going to refer to the medieval direction there. It's called the Shadow Artifact in this. Hurry, <laughs> comrades, tear this place pressure. apart. Oh. If we don't find the Shadow Artifact, Lord Zarak will... If we Zarek, don't find the Shadow Artifact, Lord Zarak will have us mocking out the demons for the next millennium. Honestly, it's literally just because I'm playing off a disc right now, and it does say that the game will run slower with sub-channel enabled, but I kind of did need it enabled for doing the Thomas Loom, so... Right, let's see how hard they are with this, just the normal sword. Wow, they have two quite hits. Oh no, there's, they're also not too bad. I don't think I need to top up anything right now, so I'm okay. I'm good to go, thanks. Okay, hold on. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. Oh god, please tell me there's a, like a shield nearby. <laughs> I was trying to think right turn. Dun. You know, I actually get kind of emotional at the age I'm at now, because I'm a... Uh... Oh, whoops. I clicked off you with XC there for a second. But uh, I'm actually kind of feeling emotional at the age I am now, being 19 and being almost an adult, and just think that everyone else who was a child when I was, who grew up with this, are probably all adults now moving on from the end of the guess. Well, maybe not. Maybe some people love reliving their nostalgic childhood, but it's just to think that children nowadays won't be growing up with the PS1 like I did, and I know that seems a bit selfish, but I don't know, it's just a bit emotional. I love the feeling of nostalgia at the same time, it's quite a depressing thought, but um, I, I do treasure the memories I had this game when I was younger, and child childhood memories are just one of the most brilliant memories ever. 
And just the imagination of being a child as well really makes you appreciate those memories more. When you lose your imagination as you grow older, that sort of makes you feel a bit depressed in my age as well. I mean, like, I even post on my other channel, like, just saying all the stuff that's going on in my life right now. That's just, I've been so inactive on my other channel, but as videos, I guess, require less than my time because they require less effort and all that, so I'm pretty much more invested in doing my Let's Plays just now, but. If you want to subscribe to my other channel, you can, Stephen's YTPs. I always put the link down below for, to my descriptions if you want to subscribe to all my other stuff. But, uh, yeah, I've been in active. Well, I actually uploaded a YTP just for Christmas. But, I might be inactive for quite a while yet, but I'm sure to get back into the like, swing of things when I'm back at college and I'm a bit more routine and less depressed. So. <laughs> I mean, I'm actually on, like, antidepressants right now, so. <laughs> But I, I forget to take them an awful lot. So. I have an awful lot that's going on in my mind that I don't tend to share with people because I have a very depressing thought process. So, oh, I'll put the crucifix up there. Oh, there we go. There's the safe key. When I was younger, I used to be so stupid. I didn't even know what safe was. I used to think the safe key was like the key of safety. You're safe if you pick up this key, so. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm stupid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, much we just get a shadow artifact and leave the level. No, Steven, do not collect the chance. 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 Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I'm like, I won't need to get the light bulbs right now because I've got the health. I just can't think, I don't think I will uh, play the next part of Mabel 2 tonight, because, but I will at some point, it's just because I need to get in my bed. And also I am going out later on today, so I'll probably sleep till like 3 in the afternoon or something like that, and then go out, so that I've at least had some sleep. But I'm actually back to college in 3 days, so I'm really going to get back into a routine like very fast. <laughs> Whoops, that did not work at all. <laughs> Dream dash time, I'll take it though. Dun 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 dun, dun 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 there we go. That, come on. There we go. That took quite a few presses to respond. I was pressing select over and over and over there. Well, B technically on my keyboard because I'm not using the controller. God, I've had the same glass of milk for the past hour now and it's gone really warm. Oh, oh I'll get the money that's in the area of the chest right now because well, I don't need the vinyl. You best go in the chalice area while it's still ghostly in case I accidentally collect it. What the hell? That was so glitchy there, we were like walking into each other. And it was like saying like, no, I'm going this way, no, go this way, go this way. It's like they were arguing with each other. They were so determined in the direction they were going there. Oh, phew, for a second I, I thought, wait, I don't recall having to hit a lever to open that door, but it just didn't open until I got near it. So, there's a light file here from Crank. Yeah, there is. <gasps> Come to think, I'll have to defeat these enemies here, these four enemies, so... Oh, they serve like as parts like a boss or something because like literally the music stops here to give more of a dramatic feel but they're so easy when you have like your good weapons by this point but actually to us I can't even see this being that hard with just my small sword. It might be a bit annoying but it doesn't look impossible. Wow. Wow. Also for my uh, rest of my medieval 2 let's face I'm so sorry about my loud control tapping because when I was actually doing my medieval two let's plays, I was pretty much had my microphone sat on a chair and I was sat on my bed directly next to my chair and the microphone was about level with my legs and I was holding my controller right next to the microphone so when I was button tapping it was like really loud against the microphone so I think for the future part I've got to keep my microphone well away from the controller so the button tapping sounds don't annoy you so yeah so that's me done up to as far as Simon Grounds without a chalice and so far so good so I've done the graveyard, Cemetery Hill, Hotel Mausoleum Return to Graveyard, Scope Fields, and uh, Seaton Village, all without a chalice so far. Now, don't be fooled by saying that, saying I've got two chalices in the corner, that doesn't count. I never redeemed the weapons for them, so that's okay. So yeah, I'll just end this part here, guys. Take care, and stay tuned for part two of Medieval 2. Take care.